I will be crucified. I'm sorry, Natasha. I am trying to love you. But sometimes you make it so difficult. You don't have to love me, Natasha. Just teach me. When you left, you broke my heart. Because I never thought we'd part. Every hour in the day, you will hear me say, Baby, won't you please come home? Your vocal range is tiny, your volume is small, and your phrasing is, is trite. Altogether, it's pretty terrible. But not hopeless. It isn't? No, you can, you can carry a tune. Not, not very far, but you can carry one. And the sound engineers can bring up your volume when you record, and you do manage to create the illusion that you actually know how to sing. I do? Yes. Uh. <clears throat> so let's take the last verse again. Try and slow it down a little bit, all right? Play with the rhythms like this. Uh. Every hour in the day, you will hear me say, Baby, won't you please come home? It's, it's, uh, it's called phrasing. Have some fun with it, all right? When you left, you broke my heart Because I never thought we'd part Every hour in the day, you will hear me say Baby, big finish now Won't you please come You, um, <clears throat> you move well. This is the Allegro of Vivaldi. Can you hear it? It's very gentle. But it builds. Mm. And it builds. the concert inspiring I waited up all night for you oh no Johnny you need your rest I'll get my rest when I'm dead which is gonna be sooner rather than later you know that Marilyn I don't want to hear that kind of talk I won't listen how can you be so cruel because you let me I'm going upstairs you coming marry me baby I'm crazy about you I know you are Johnny I wish I could feel the same way about you. I mean, I love you, but I've never been in love with you. I never said I was. You have millions of women marry men they're not in love with. Millions? Really? I had no idea. Is that just counting LA? No. Don't joke with me, Marilyn. I mean, marriage is based on a lot of other things, you know? It can be based on mutual respect, trust. That wouldn't be fair to you, Johnny. Besides, I'd be even more of a joke than I am right now. Good night, Johnny. Good night. Ah, feeling better, my dear? Sure. Just like the English. Oh, no, not again. Cut! I'm sorry. All right, we'll try it again after lunch. Like I just That's lunch, everybody. Ah, uh, oh, thank you, dear. Miss Davis, would you mind if I got some publicity stills before lunch? Not at all. 
Um, Miss Davis, I just wanted to say that I think I'm screwing up out of nerves working with you and all. I uh, mean, I've seen all of your movies, and I think you're such a talent. I mean, I must have seen Now Voyager at least ten times. And when I was a kid, I... I remember going with my Aunt Grace to see Jezebel. I must have seen that movie a dozen times. And afterwards, I'd go home and I'd do all of your monologues. I mean, not as well as you did them, of course, but, I mean, I knew all of your lines by heart. What I mean to say is, it's just an honor to be on the same set with you. Thank you, dear. Now get the fuck out of my shot. I don't know where I ever got the idea I could turn you into an actress. You don't have it. You'll never have it. Who the hell was I kidding? Marilyn, this is colossally rude. Do you realize I've been here for two hours while you're supposedly washing your face? Norma Jean? Come on out, honey. Mrs. Bollinger will be back soon. We don't have much time. You've been in there for ages. Please. I bought you something, Norma Jean. It's for my Magnum. First time I've done eyeliner in a car. You know, I've made up hundreds of actresses. But I've never experienced a metamorphosis quite like yours. I gotta tell you, I get goosebumps every time. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, kid. Gentlemen, in just a few moments, Miss Baxter will be available for photographs outside hey, of the... Hey, what's the name of the chest that just walked in? Now listen to me, Daryl. I want you to consider using her for blondes. I hear she sings. Sings? She barely speaks. <laughs> no. We've decided to go with an established musical performer. What? Opposite Jane Russell? She mm -hmm. ain't exactly Ethel Merman. Spare yet. us. This girl's talent is... slight. And how come she gets 4,000 fan letters a week? That's more than Darnell and Hayward together. How come she's on the screen for two minutes, the audience stages a riot in the theater? And how come we put on a test screening of All About Eve, she doesn't even get a screen credit, we get 300 comment cards back, 150 of them wanted to know who is the blonde with George Sanders? Tell me, how come? Sweetheart, darling, da sweetheart, over here. No, no, over here, come sit next to me. Don't do this. <laughs> Take a walk, kid, I'm straight. Yes, sir, right away. Oh, you look magnificent. Thank, Thank you. you. Doll, do you have a picture coming up? Why, I don't know. You'll have to ask Mr. Skouras here. How about a big smile? <laughs> we lived at the old Hollywood Hotel then, and our rooms were practically um, a clubhouse. There was Valentino and Jack Pickford and Nazimova. Uh, do you know Nazimova's work, dear? Oh, well, Freddie's teaching me about the composers. We're going to go to the library tomorrow to check some books out. Oh. And Nazimova was an actress. And is to check out some books. You don't split up a verb phrase. Hey, did I tell you you look just like your daddy? Ooh. Marilyn, would